Dissection of actual human bodies will soon be mandatory for medical students at the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine. It believes the hands-on experience will make a vital difference to their knowledge of anatomy. And that is a topic we're staying on. For more about the enhanced curriculum and how this will help train a new generation of doctors, we're joined by Associate Professor Faith Chap. She is the Vice Dean of Education at NTU Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine. Prof Chow, welcome. Uh, first, I'm curious, what were the Thank gaps you, that the school observed in the current uh, an uh, anatomy training that this enhanced curriculum aims to, you know, bridge? Well, I must say that we actually had a very robust anatomy mm. uh, curriculum to begin with that was very heavily focused on virtual dissection as well as virtual reality mm. and plasticinated models, which is um, something that's very common in medical schools around the world. Um, but as we were reforming our curriculum last year um, to really better meet the needs of our uh, society as well as our learners, of course, we asked ourselves, how can we um, make this experience even better? How can we go beyond international standards um, to bring anatomy into the clinical years uh, for our students? Traditionally, anatomy is taught in year one and year two uh, for medical school, and the students then go to the hospitals and clinics. Um, and we, were, we think we're quite unique uh, because we are placing our cadaveric dissection in year three and year mm. four, where our students have started to see patients in the wards and um, in the clinic areas and that really allows them to bring clinical application to anatomy and bring anatomy to life so to speak um, as they perform cadaveric dissection with a lot of relevance into how this will be used in their future practice. Yeah a few follow-up questions for, uh, for that and firstly about the school deciding to make dissection of human bodies compulsory at this stage of student training the third year instead of yeah. why not earlier pre-clinical studies for example? Yeah, so um, absolutely. And in fact, um, you know, like we've spoken about, most of the schools actually do put anatomy dissection in the preclinical studies. But we felt that, I mean, firstly, uh, the human body is a very, very precious resource and we wanted our students to be able to fully understand and utilise it. So having a foundation in year one and year two already um, using the various technology enhanced methods for anatomy um, really gave our students a different ground to start off um, dissection in third year and apply um, clinical anatomy, um, especially when our sessions are co-taught together with our partners at NHG Health. Um, the surgeons were heavily involved in co-designing as well as co-facilitating mm. these sessions with our anatomists. So I think that really brings the whole um, subject of anatomy yeah. Uh, to to real life and application. Well, yeah, if you could break that down for us, because you know you mentioned being international uh, in your standards and uh, medical schools actually moving away, uh, but you've decided, uh, as you've just very extensively explained to us, you know you are uh, taking the other approach. Why is it so essential that the students learn about dissecting of actual human bodies in terms of the real skill sets that they're being taught? Yeah. So you're right, it seems almost counterintuitive when mm. other people are moving towards technology and away from dissection. But we, I, I think we were trying really to balance uh, the best of both worlds, so to speak. Um, the human body is, everybody is different and everybody is unique. Um, so learning something from a textbook or even through virtual reality does not have that same impact as actually um, touching and dissecting a human body and tissue. Um, so again, I think that was an experience not just for the learning of anatomy, but for uh, the introduction to surgical skills, for example, um, that was really important. And in fact, important for any physician, no matter what practice you are going to do, whether it's a family physician, internist, or a surgeon, anatomy is really so crucial. Um, the other thing that was helpful when we placed it in year three and year four was that uh, we chose to hold these um, the cadaveric dissections in a simulated operating theatre. So that gave our students an uh, introduction into the uh, what an operating theatre feels and looks yeah. like or, or even smells like, as well as the instruments that they're going to use and the techniques uh, for the future, their future practice. Well, what did they tell you when, when this was introduced to them and, and when they walked uh, through the experience? Uh, what was some of their feedback? 
Well, we, we've had we've had two pilots so far in preparation for our launch next year, um, and the students were uniformly um, excited and really awe inspired through the experience. Um, I think that ability to uh, touch firsthand um, and dissect through the different layers to see the organs and how they um, interacted and uh, had interfaced with each other was just something that they said was really special and they were so grateful for that opportunity. Mm. All right. You know, um, I, I also want to ask you about the ethics of, of this all. Uh, how is LKC Medicine, you know, working to, to ensure that that's in place and that there's awareness of the whole body procurement as well as the donations in Singapore and to teach right. the students to respect uh, the donors as well? Yeah, that's something that's really important to us because, you know, this is really a precious gift that has been given by someone. Um, we do make sure that we procure our um, um, cadavers through ethical sources. We source them from overseas because uh, the, locally there are just not enough cadavers to go around for all our different medical schools and healthcare professional schools. Um, and our students have given um, really in-depth modules on the ethics of cadaveric dissection prior to start stepping into the dissection room. I think one thing that uh, means a lot to the students as well as to the tutors um, as they start is how they take a pledge for the silent mentors and then part of the pledge is really for them to say um, that they respect the dignity that this was once a living body and, and to express their gratitude that this gift was given to them for their learning. Um, we also make sure that the students write a piece of reflection um, after their experience and I think that really solidifies the, hum the humanistic side behind the anatomy dissection as well. All right, appreciate you speaking to us on this uh, fascinating topic. Uh, that was Associate Professor Faith Chia, Vice Dean of Education at NTU, Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine.